Welcome, welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to be showcasing the sword and dagger for the way watcher. Um, I'm also bringing along my true flight again. Uh, same weapon I used in my last video where I showcased the one handed sword and the true flight longbow. You can take a look at that. You'll see how it performs, I just won't be talking about it. Um, so my sword and dagger here. We got regrowth on the normal attack, scavenger and perfect balance. So gives me four shields. I can block a storm vermin hit. Um, do not have devastating blow for interrupting them though. It just happens to be the sword and dagger that I have at the moment. Um, not saying this is an ideal chain combination, but it's not bad. Once again, uh, I got my scavenger on there because I do like to spam me some arrows. Um, but, as you can see here, uh, you can run at a pretty good clip. This was also true in the last patch, 1.4.3. Um, but you can run around pretty darn fast with your block up, so it's nice for getting around through levels quickly. Um, or if you're just not sure and you're slightly separated from your team, you don't know if you've got enemies behind you or anything like that, just throw up your block and run over to them. Better than just hoping for the best. Oh, hello. Occasionally you get this guy here. Nice. 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 <laughs> I wish I could uh, kill some of these things early, but I don't think I can hawk it up that high. Hell, not even close. <laughs> yeah, salty Krillian. Um. So the one nice thing about this weapon, so it's not a one-handed weapon, so it's not guaranteed to have headshot, according to the patch notes, but this does have headshot on it, so it's nice. So you can see it's swing, 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 one stab. It used to be two stabs in the last build. Um, so only one part of the chain where you are open to attacks from multiple rats as you only have a single target at a hit. But it does swing really fast. Um, oops, I forgot to give this to the Bright Wizard. There we go. She gonna need it. Oh. You gonna need this. Oh. Oops, I just get rid of my improved bomb. I did. Oh well. Alright. So, this thing versus... Oh, well. I was gonna show you how performance, but uh... Bard and Gorgson's killing blow went off, so... So this, the dual attack for this thing has two. So one is sort of a slash with both weapons, and the other one is a downward strike, which is similar to the dual daggers. I don't know. Get rid of that. Don't want that blown up in my face. Boom. All right. Hello, dearie. Off with your head. Oh, let's just kill that one. I don't want him jumping down on me. Let's kill that right next to that one. See if we can get him to run over here. Alright, so you, what you want to do with Stormbrim is go like that and then get that one going because it, uh, the downward strike does much better damage. Oh, god damn it, Krooper. Stealing my kill. Anyway, that's your armor piercing attack. Um,. It's not particularly good against Storm Vermin, but it's what you have if you don't have Killing Blow. Let's see. There we go. Um, so let's see, what kind of damage does the spreadsheet say that does? So this attack here hits three targets, four to the first one it hits, and 1.5 to the other ones. Um, and then the downward strike does four and a half damage now problem is so that that second strike that I said is better because of headshots well it turns out that it actually only has a plus one headshot modifier whereas that first strike looks like it has a times two so technically if you head strike that first one is actually more damaged armor targets than the other one but you're wave clear and you're going to be using your light attacks chaining those things I hate hordes right here so I'm just going to do this because Whatever. Oh, whoops. Should have hucked over here. I guess didn't hear. No, there was a packet. Right? Oh, 
God damn, this is a pain in the butt. Rattling gunner makes the bot so dumb, and then they got in front of me before I could kill it. Okay, it's down. Good gravy. Another nice thing about this weapon is that you can, um, you can sort of interrupt anywhere in the chain and do a quick block. Um, not all weapons can do that, so that's a nice thing for this thing. Man, that was a really bad horde. It's a bad spot for a horde with bots. Rally Gunner makes them so stupid. Plus a Packmaster pulled Kruber in. That was just bad news all around. I'll save that for now. Alright. We got Stormbrum we're going to take care of. Yes, we do. Da, da, da. Come on. Is that locking on? No, it's not. No, oh, whatever. Oh, plenty of heals. Heals for everyone. Uh, give me a lock on. Huh. Alright, well that's a change. You used to be able to lock on to the storm vermin from this kind of range. In the last patch. Oh well. I still get him over here. I'm just going to do some quick shots. Since they're not locking anyway. Just fire this crap off. There you are. Plenty of ammo, plenty of ammo. All right, handled. All right. So what I like to do, so another nice thing about this, if you watch as I move in here, you can see that the movement speed increases slightly when she's not winding up. So you can actually are pretty mobile when using this between your instant block and um, you can stop your chain of attacks with your block and move at almost full speed. Um, what's that? Just ammo? God damn it, Kruber. Stop getting wrecked. Oh, Storm Berman. Bots are pretty bad against Storm Room. Pap. And your friend, too. But yeah, so like, uh, even if there's rats behind you, if you're holding your W and you're hitting your mouse one, unless they're doing the run attack, trying to charge stab you, then, uh, you don't got to worry too much about getting hit in the back as long as you're able to kill enough enemies to make room to go forward. I yield punk. There we go. There we go. Anybody else? Uh, locking on the foot, curving over the top. There we go. It is a lovely thing. Handled him. Do we got more bombs in there? No, we don't. Okay, so don't waste this one. But yeah. This weapon is, uh... So, like, they made the, like I said in my last video, the one-handed sword is now decent. Um, it's my actually preferred weapon because of the trait combination I got on it. But, uh... I think the meta or whatever would say that... It's between this, the sword and dagger, and the one-handed sword for best weapons now. Um, if I could roll the same traits that I have on my sword and dagger with this, that meaning not off balance, but um, scavenger instead for that third trait slot, then I would probably like these more. So a nice fast combo, but there's the damage from this. Oh, hello, dearie. So a nice thing about being able to move quickly while you're doing that is that you can actually chase assassins and things with your um, with your combo, like as you're knocking them back as when you hit them. F off. We got bombs for days. 
So yeah, it's good for keeping up with the gutter runner that's trying to flip away from you as you hit him. So you can push him off your allies and then uh, just keep on whacking him. Notice I said push. That's just another general tip. If there's a gutter runner on your friend, don't sit there and smack it with your swords. You want to uh, do your push first. And then, oh. Yeah. This thing's not great for sword for me. Um, you want to give them a shove and then start beating on them. Because when you push them, it gets them off of your friend so your friend stops taking damage. <laughs> Let's see. Stab, stab, stab. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Just play it around with them. Alright, what do we got? And my poor bots, I don't want to get them killed by Storm Rumor. So I'll just pop that guy. <clears throat> Hello? There we go. Take care of that guy. Aggro those rats. There we go. But yeah. This attack chain. There's decent damage. Headshots. And it's fast. So most of the time you're just going to be doing your light attacks. Or at least most of the time I do my light attacks. You can do what you want. <laughs> I don't see anything too scary coming up down there. I just hawk a couple arrows for the fun of it. They can handle him. See if the bottle heal up. No, yes. Come on, Kruber. Oh, there's a headshot. Nice shot, Barton Gorickson. Re knock my arrow. Ow, bastard. Should have blocked. Should have blocked, but I'm slow. Just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway. Sword and dagger. Not a bad weapon. One of my favorites. And from here on out, actually I think the other way watcher weapons. The ones I ever play with are the sword and dagger and the one handed sword. So we'll see what I think of the uh What's the other one? What's my next one gonna be? I don't know. I I wanna do them just top to bottom. Might be dual dagger. Oh yeah, I take that back. I have tried the dual daggers. They're a good. They're a good time. Gonna be a rat blender. <laughs> hey, you think these things are uh, swinging fast? Wait till you see these dual daggers as patch. They're hilarious. Right where I'm jumping. Don't want to deal with that. Oh, you too. You get an arrow. For no particular reason. Hello, dear. Hey, three storm vermin down there? That's bad news. <laughs> oh, four. Jesus. Whatever, I'm out of here. Block run time. <laughs> Victorious. <clears throat> See if we get anything decent.
Don't usually, but occasionally get an orange on Nightmare. Yep, not likely. Oh, it's that red sword and dagger I want. Roll that seven. Nope. <laughs> not even close. Oh, well. All good things come in time. Alright, so that's for anyone who cares. Yeah, you do tend to get a lot, a lot of headshots when you're using these. <laughs> doopy 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 doo. Alright, anyway, good games. Catch you in the next video.